Hi and welcome to this a video about quantitative force uh, analysis and vector components. That's a big title. So the quantitative part means that we're going to be dealing with numbers and I, we want our, our answers to be uh, numerically accurate. And force analysis means we're going to be drawing force diagrams and the vector components means that we're going to be figuring out vectors uh, of some of our forces. So there's going to be some angles involved. Uh, the first example is Sally, and she looks a little sad here. She pulls the wagon at a constant velocity using a rope, and then she pulls with a force of 80 newtons, and the angle of the rope is 30 degrees above the horizontal. So if I hear, if I say that what am I dealing with here, I'm going to draw all the forces on the wagon. So I'm going to put that around there just to isolate what I'm talking about. So here I'm going to consider that that wagon acts like a, a single dot, so there's the, the wagon. I'm also going to um, mention or, or, or draw my my x and my y coordinates. So here's my x direction and here's my y direction. Um, something I haven't done very often, but I, I'm going to do on this one and I'm going to ask you guys to do it more in the, in the future. Um, I'm going to have you state which way is positive. So in my x direction, that way is going to be positive. Uh, maybe I'll draw like this. I'll make my plus a little bit better. Okay, that in my x direction, I'm going to say to the right is positive and to the left is negative. And in my y direction, I'll make up is positive and, and down is negative in my y direction. So um, because I'm going to be dealing with numbers, uh, sometimes it's nice to use a positive value for and a negative value in my equations. Okay, so let's try to draw all the forces acting on the wagon. So well, I've got a uh, force of gravity uh, downwards, so this would be force of gravity on the wagon by the earth. Um, I'm going to have a normal force up uh, and oh, <laughs> it's a little bit of a squiggly line, so I got a normal force uh, normal on wagon. We also have a tension force, that's the rope, and that's pulling up at an angle. So I'll draw this one here. So I'm going to say FT uh, on wagon by the rope. And if it's going at a constant velocity, so that's a, an important one, it, we know that if it's constant velocity, then the forces are going to be balanced. And if they're balanced, they're going to be balanced in the x direction, and they're also going to be balanced in the y direction. So considering this, if I'm looking at it right now, um, I need something going to the left to balance it out. In fact, what I'm going to do first is I will say, okay, this tension force can have these two components. That tension force is going a little bit to the right and a little bit up. So this is going to have a... Uh, tension to the x direction and the tension to the y direction. So that clarifies a couple things for me. First of all, I can see that my vertical forces, there's the normal force which is vertical up, there's the FTY, so the y component of the tension forces up, and there's the force of gravity downwards. So if I you know, put my equality ticks here. I could put a, a line on that one, maybe a circle on that one, and this would be a line and a circle. So you can see that the force of gravity downwards is just equal to the sum of those two upwards. It also tells me, the adding the components, that my leftward force is going to have to be equal to this FTX, and I'll put two ticks on that one. What would that leftward force be? Well, I think it's got to be some friction here. So I'm going to say this is the force of friction on the wagon by the ground. Okay, so I've got that force uh, diagram done. Check. Write an equation for the horizontal forces acting on the wagon. Okay, so I'm going to say uh, that the word balanced here really means uh, adds up to zero. Because now that I'm saying that to the right is positive and to the left is negative, and vertically up is positive and down is negative, I, I can put that together. So let's do all the horizontal ones. So the horizontal, I've got uh, FTX. 
okay and the other one I've got is FF now FF is to the left direction so it's it's subtracting so I can say minus FF equals zero okay there's some different ways to write it but that's the way I'm going to write it here I'm going to say that the tension force to the right and the friction force which is to the left so I'm subtracting it is going to be equal to zero that's going to be balanced that's what balance looks like how about for the vertical forces hmm okay I'm going to just ask you to hit pause and see if you can give it a sh give it a shot see if you can write the vertical forces so hit pause and try that now okay so again it's going to be balanced so we want things to add up to zero so I've got well I've got two pa two positive two upwards forces and one that's negative so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this uh, normal force plus FTY minus FG is equal to zero. That's the way I'm going to write it to show that those are balanced. Okay, if the mass of the wagon is 24 kilograms, find the weight of the wagon. Well, we found in class that force of gravity is equal to... Uh, it's, it's really more like 9.8, but we're going to keep it nice and friendly. We're going to say 10 newtons per kilogram multiplied by the mass. And so remember that this is weight. Okay, Force of gravity is weight. So in other words, we're going to say the force of gravity is going to be equal to 10 newtons per kilogram times the mass is 24 kilograms. And it's pretty cool when you actually put the units in, you can see these two are going to cancel each other out. And then we're going to get 10 times, 10 times 24, so we'll get, what, 240. And our units are going to be newtons. So the weight is 240 newtons. Okay, find the values of each of the forces in the force diagram. Okay, so maybe... Maybe what I'll do is I'll kind of redraw the force diagram over here so that it's a little bit easier. And I'm going to say, okay, we had... Here, I'll, I'll redraw it and then I'll come back. Okay, so I redrew it without the on and by statements, just so there's a little bit less writing here. Now, the things that I know is that this uh, tension force, we're told, is uh, 80 newtons right here. And I know that this is 30 degrees. So the first thing that I can do is say, well, I can use my trig knowledge to solve for FTY and FTX. So uh, I know that the sine of 30 degrees is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. So in this case, this is going to be equal to, well, what is the opposite? Here's 30 degrees. The opposite is FTY. So I'll just replace this with the FTY divided by what's the hypotenuse that's the 80 newtons that we know so if I multiply both sides by 80 newtons I'll get 80 newtons multiplied by the sine of 30 degrees is equal to FTY and so my FTY is oh did I get that right hold on a second yeah I think I'm good to go so FTY is going to be equal to 40 newtons Okay, so I'll write that one in here. So I've got this uh, FTY is equal to 40 newtons. Uh, similarly, I can use the cos of 30 degrees. Cos of 30 degrees is equal to, it's the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So looking at my 30 degrees, the adjacent side is FTX, the X component of the uh, tension force and the hypotenuse is still 80 newtons so uh, FTX is going to be equal to 80 newtons times the cos of 30 degrees which I'm going to put down as 69.3 newtons so I'll label this over here this one is equal to 69 Point three newtons. Okay, so I've got the tension force figured out, and I have the components figured out. The force of gravity uh, from our previous question over here was 240 newtons. So now I can say, hey, I remember that my vertical forces have to add up to zero. I've got 40 up, 240 down. So I'm going to need 200 newtons here because um, this 200 plus 40 is equal to 
240. So my vertical forces add up to zero. So this is the same as this idea right here. 200 plus 40 minus 240 equals zero. Let's think about now my uh, horizontal forces. Well, I've got FTX and FF are my two horizontal forces. Those are going to have to balance as well. So this one is going to be 69.3 newtons to the left. All right, so, you know, I can do the same kind of highlighting that my horizontal forces, there we go, add up to zero. Um, horizontal forces, there, like that. Okay, so um, that's the first example, and I'll do this as a separate video.